Hello fellow game lovers and welcome to the next episode of Beyond Dairy Simulator. So today we will finally do what I was trying to do that whole episode last time. Which is... This. Why are you carrying a syringe around? That's weird! No it's not. What if I have an animal, like a, or a pet I mean, with diabetes? It's important to know how to use syringes. Hush, little Mimi, yo, oh, don't you cry. On every chance, singing a lullaby. There we go. And now, shut the door. There we go. And then we're going to end the day. Screw the school. Screw the school, I'm going home. Alright, and now, finally, good, kind of weird that everyone's hair is gray when they're in the basement. Thing. I just wanted to kidnap you for the hell of it. Here we go. Makes you wonder, what does she do? That, you know. Makes a person go insane so quickly. Let's do it again. Like, like, is it possible to torture someone with music? Cause then that'd be kind of funny if you played like Justin Bieber or some other kind of like stupid uh, musician and, and their stupid songs. That'd be kind of funny. Okay, one more time. Go to drop. Okay, once night arrives. Okay, so yeah, let's see that. And let's go. Why are you doing this? Because young Dairy Chen is crazy. That's why. I think it'd be kind of cool if there was an update to the social feature with the um, Facebook. And it would say like, oh, I haven't seen Anderichen in school for a few days, I wonder if she's sick. You know what I mean? Like, have the students notice that you're not there. That'd be cool. So let's bring our puppet to school. There we go. Oh! What are you, what, what are you doing? Oh. Um. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so she still walks. Okay, that's neat. That's neat. I like that little addition. So she'll still act normal or whatever? Okay. That's neat. I guess. Hey, you're good at one- But you're good at one thing, my little puppet. You wanna know what that is? You are good at killing, and we are going to wait until everybody is in the courtyard, and then, hey, let me finish, then you're going to kill. I like you. I like you. I like you. That's why I wanted you to be my puppet. You are worthless, and you do suck, but I like you. That's why I want you to be my puppet. Good, everyone's going to the courtyard. Good, good, good. Boop. Oh, that was close. She almost noticed me. Good. Come quickly, my puppet. You must, you need to have, um, you need to have really good speed underwear like me. Because you don't. So, anyway, what's all, what's all innocent and stuff? Hey, um, what's up? 
popular girls, whatever. Uh, how you doing? I'm good today. Anyone under period? Because periods suck. Oh, uh, hey, has anyone seen Mei Mio? I don't know where she is. Is she sick? Oh no, what, what, what's this? Oh no. Um. Uh. So yeah, Kokoda's still glitched. That's kind of funny. She's still glitched out. That's weird. Hey guys, isn't this funny? I find it funny. Oh, oh, oh my god, you still have the other bodies. Oh, evil girl, I know. Isn't it awesome? Evil girl, wait. We could be partners. Damn it. Like, I think it'd be hilarious if she could be... Well, not hilarious, but I think it'd be cool if she could be your partner at one point in the game. And, um, like... You could ask the evil girl to become your partner in crime, and when she accepts, she will then... Uh, help you commit murder like she'll dispose of a body for you shove it in a bag like Dexter Morgan and um, Like help you hide the body. You know what I mean? I think that'd be cool if you had um, an accomplice or whatever So she is glitched out That's weird Hey Saki Miyu uh, How do you feel about that? It's scary, isn't it? I find it to be scary. What's hey? Where's the teachers at? Hey teachers, something bad happened. Hey teachers! Oh my God, the teachers suck ass at this school. Why are they not here? Like, and you, you don't even exist unless you press the space button. Space bar, I mean. Then she'll move. But yeah, this character. Like, damn it, yeah, Dory Zev, why don't you just remove her from the game? I don't like that she's here, and yet she's, she doesn't do anything. Make her go away. Um. So, yeah, this sucks ass. Someone just died. Hey, mi mi Misume, Musume, Ronshaku, what's up? Yeah, this school is not exactly safe. You should maybe leave. I think that would be a really good idea. Well... Uh... Not much I can do now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna then cut this segment and make it a lot shorter. Oh well. Fun fact, if you join the photography club, you actually get a really good camera so you can zoom in and read what the books say better. Um, the books are actually Easter eggs and have things mentioning the clubs you join um, and stuff like that, or like how to get away with murder and stuff like that. See, there, there's one of them. Um, but you won't be able to see it as clearly unless you get the um, camera from the photography club. I'll dedicate a video to the Easter eggs and just, you know, do that someday. See something important. Did she follow me? I don't think she did. Oh well. Midori, where are you? You're gonna miss out on the awesome surprise. Damn it. Yeah, I Midori mean, sucks. I don't think she made it. She didn't teleport with me. Oh, she did. I know! It's horrible, isn't it? Gotta go fast! Gotta go faster, 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 faster! Where's she going? Oh my god, is she going to the roof? That's hilarious. Midori, that's where you were, you moron! Anyway, the police see a murder-suicide. They made me go. But, but Kakoda is still- then we're going to trigger a uh, glitch that I saw you can do on YouTube. And this will help me out a lot because you know how I said I wanted to get freaking Kakoda chan to come follow me to the roof and I can't do that? But with this glitch you actually can, can get her to follow you. So, make sure she's with me. 
and the, but the glitch is that you press G on the debug menu and Kakona Chan will then follow you. There we go. I could push her off the roof, that's awesome. Oh well. No, I wanna help. Oh! You're the one who wanted to meet me here? Your notes said that you wanted to talk about domestic abuse? Yes. I heard you talking with Saki. I want to help you with your problem. What is your father doing to you? Oh, you've got it all wrong. My father doesn't do anything to me. Then what does he do when he gets drunk? father is in debt? When my mom died last year, my family lost a lot of money. My dad took out a loan so that he could continue to pay for my tuition fees, but it turns out that he borrowed money from some really shady people. They raised the interest rate by 10% every 10 days, and they threatened to get violent with him if he doesn't pay up. Loan sharks. I'm trying to help my dad get out of debt. I'm trying to earn money any way I can, but the only ways to make money fast are gross. Prostitution. What's the name of the business that your father borrowed money from? Um, I think it's called Loan Shock Loans. I'm going to get your father out of debt. What? No! Please, don't get involved! I doubt there's anything you could do about it. You'd be surprised. I appreciate your concern. But I don't think there's anything else to be said. Thanks for letting me talk about my problems. You're welcome. So, yeah, um, I really, really don't like undead. Uh, um, okay then. Yeah, have fun walking into the wall of Kona Chan. I'm gonna go now. But yeah, I really don't like Yandere Chan's new voice. Um, I'm actually going to play her original voice during the um, intro cutscene, and I'm gonna put that in this video. So, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, her voice is completely different now. It sounds too mature, too woman-like. And um, in that attempt at trying to make her sound monotone, she just sounds like a woman trying to be a teenager. It just doesn't fit. So, let's compare the voices and you'll see what I mean. I can't feel anything. For as long as I can remember, I've never been able to feel emotions. I pretend to be normal when I'm around other people, but on the inside, I feel nothing. It's not as bad as it may sound. I know that I'm broken, but I don't care. This is normal for me. But everything changed when I met him. My senpai. For the first time I felt something. A strong desire. A longing. A yearning. A craving. Now I finally understand what it means to be human. To be alive. I'm addicted to the way he makes me feel. I don't care about anything else. He is everything to me. And now, someone is trying to take him from me. She wants him, 
but not in the same way that I want him. She could never appreciate him the way I do. She doesn't deserve him. He belongs to me alone. She has taught me a new emotion. Rage. I want to stop her. I want to hurt her. I want to kill her. There is nothing I won't do for Senpai. I won't let anyone come between us. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care who I have to hurt. I don't care whose blood I have to spill. I won't let anyone take him from me. Nothing else matters. No one else matters. Senpai will be mine. He doesn't have a choice. So, um, I honestly don't like her new voice. I like her voice in the introduction a lot better. It just fits younger a chance. She sounds young, but she still sounds, uh, she still sounds kind of dry at the same time. Like me. All right. There we go. All right. So now what we're gonna do is try to get that girl to come. And she actually comes into the room, so that's even more perfect. And wait for her to come to the room, and then we can go and kidnap her. Uh, freaking maybe 115. There we are. Hey, wait. Oh, wait. Need to do S. Okay, there we go. Hey, 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 hey. Follow me. Go inside here. Follower is valid. Awesome. And now shut the door. And now... Why are you carrying something strange like that around? Like... Why does everyone say that syringes aren't weird? It's great to learn how to use a syringe in case your animal, your pet, has diabetes. There we go. Oh, her hair's clipping through the box. That's funny. Okay. And now, let's go home. So yeah, screw the school. I'm going home. There we are. Okay. Awesome. There we go. Perfect. Nighttime. That's a weird glitch that that um, the models just chain like that. That's weird. Perfect. There we go. Bitch. Your dad sucks, and so and that makes you suck. Yeah, you suck because your dad sucks, so you suck. No. Smile for the camera. Watch this.
this video. You scumbag. What have you done to my daughter? I haven't harmed her. Yet. If you ever want to see her again, you must do as I say. What do you want from me? Free all of your clients from debt. Are you insane? I would sink my business. For every day that your clients remain in debt, I'll remove one of your daughter's fingers. If you want her back in one piece, you must act immediately. Monster. I Good decision. My dad just got a phone call. He says his debts have been wiped clean. Did you do this? Yeah. Yes. She's crazy. What did you do? Something illegal. I can't tell you. That's kind of scary. But I can't remember the last time I saw my dad this happy. I don't know what you did. I'm afraid to ask. But you saved my dad. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Words can't express how grateful I am. If there's anything you need me to do for you, just say the word. All these people text like me where they actually use proper English and basically text how they talk. Kind of funny. There is one thing I'd like to ask you for. What is it? Please meet me at my house tomorrow before school begins. I have something important to tell you. I'll be there. And last time. Thank you. All right. So we are now going to see the first ever real cutscene of Yandere Simulator. No more black screen with pink subtitles. This is actual models talking. So that's kind of cool. She has a nice house. I would like my house to be like this. You have a nice place, Yanchan. Thanks. Where are your parents? Overseas. So you take care of yourself? That must be hard. I manage. I want to thank you again for helping my dad. I won't ask what you did. I'm sure it's something that you wouldn't want to talk about. But I hope you gave him what he deserved. Loan sharks are awful people. I did a bunch of stupid things while I was trying to make money. But my biggest regret was getting Saki involved. I never told her about my dad's debt, but I did tell her that I needed money fast. She tried to help me up by selling her underwear to some boys outside of school. In the end, she couldn't go through with it. So instead of selling the boys, she threw it over the school wall. I wonder if she ever found it. That must have been so embarrassing for her. I feel so bad about it. But now it's all in the past. You saved my dad. And now I can finally stop spending my time trying to make money in gross ways. <laughs> oh, I just realized I've been rambling this entire time. You said that you had something important to tell me, right? Yes. It's about the boy from Class 3-2. The boy you have a crush on. Oh, you know about that? What did you want to say about him? I... I have feelings for him. I've never felt this way about anyone before. And I can't bear the thought of seeing him with anyone else. I know that this is a selfish request, but please, don't take him away from me. Let me try to win his heart. I have really strong feelings for that boy. I don't want to lose him, but I could never take someone away from you after everything you've done for me. 
Okay. I'll stay away from him. Thank you. But you better take really good care of him, okay? Don't worry. I will. So there we go. The first ever real cutscene of Yandere Simulator. Pretty awesome. And with that, I'm gonna cut this video and draw it to a close. But yeah, um, I'm gonna then also put in the, the original intro to Yandere Simulator so you can see what I mean. Um, I really don't like her new voice. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll see you all later. Bye.